Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And guys, I'm back with another video on the application of projection of lines. So here we go. So first of all, I would suggest all of you to pause the video right now and go through this entire description. Okay, assuming that you have gone through it. Now let me explain you the entire stuff in a very brief manner. So there is a wooden platform. Dimensions are 3.5 by 2 meters. So there are four corners and all the four corners are connected at the top. How high? This is 5 meters high and then there is a hook. So all of them have been connected. Rather the four corners are connected to this hook with the help of four chains. And what we are supposed to find out is the length of each chain. That's it. That's exactly what we need to work out. So guys, this is going to be pretty easy for, you, for us. And initially, let's start off by making a reference line. Here we go. And the thickness, there is some thickness in the figure you can say but rather what we'll assume is the thickness of the platform to be negligible okay consider it as if it's a line so let's let's make this this is going to be how much considering this scale one meter is equal to one centimeter this is 3.5 centimeters on your drawing sheet and this is two centimeters on your drawing sheet right although i have written meters but you need to draw lines this line and this line 3.5 centimeter and this is two centimeters now this hook over here will appear right here exactly at the center isn't it and we can make it here also by intersecting the di diagonals something like this and this is this is what you call uh, the top view of the hook if i can just write h over here okay and this is the top view of the hook we'll mention it and then we need to travel in the front you'll see this distance five meter distance and that's the topmost point. This is the hook in the front view. And let us just put it up over here. Okay, so that's front view. And that's the top view of the hook. Similarly, what we'll do is, let's let's take this chain into consideration and let's mark this point as point C. Okay, so this point C in the top view will appear somewhere here. You can choose any point. You can choose this point also. So instead of mentioning C over here, you could have mentioned C over here also. I picked up this one. Okay. And when you see this from the front, this will be towards the left, isn't it? Towards the left here, yeah, exactly. So that's the front view. What we're supposed to find is the exact length or the true length of this uh, chain. And this can be done very easily. Here it is, either rotate the front view or rotate the top view. That is H dash, C dash, or you can also go for rotation of H and C. And here it is, I'm rotating the front view, keeping H dash fixed and moving C dash. And here it is. This is the new location, C1 dash. So old, old, this is new. And the new one is going to be somewhere here, top view, right here. And this is C1. When you join C1 with this H, you will have the true length of the chain. And that's it, guys. This is going to precisely work out as, let me see, this is 54 millimeters. That means 5.4 centimeters. And that is, what do you call 5.4 meters okay now one more thing that we have to work out is the angle that it makes with the platform now let me show you something and this is uh, something that I'll carry off pull off on AutoCAD here we go now guys in this part of the video I'll already show you how you can work out the angle that a chain makes with the wooden platform or with the horizontal and for that what you've got to do is you've got to rotate this line Okay, this is the chain in the top view and this right here is the chain in the front view. Anyway, there are chains overlapping one another in the front views. So there are two chains here. There are two chains here also. Right now, what we'll try to do is we'll try to rotate this HC. Okay, about H, fixing H and rotating C. So C will have a new position in, in the form of C1, you can say. And uh, so let's do that. Here we go. That's it. Okay. me so that's the arc that i am really interested in let me chip off some portion okay looks pretty good isn't it so this is exactly the new position of c and let's call this let's say c1 yeah let me shift this slightly over here so this was the old c and this was the old c in the front view let me keep it inside that would be better 
and if I can just project it straight let me switch on the ortho and here it is this is the new location and this is nothing but c1 dash okay c1 dash and when you join this c1 dash with this h dash you have the true length again this is going to be same if you want to see i can show you now this has to be aligned let me align it let me do this dimensioning once again and here it is again 53.91 or 54 you can say 54 millimeters approximately that means 5.4 centimeters that means 5.4 meters that's it now the angle that this fellow makes the true length makes rather uh, can be worked out and this is precisely 68 degrees so guys here we have it the length of each chain is somewhere around 54 millimeters that means uh, 5.4 meters and the angle each chain makes with the wooden platform with the horizontal is 68 degrees that's it so guys that was all for my set for today i'll see you again in the next video thanks for watching